So we're here today to talk about High Tide IPA. Uh, High Tide IPA is Port Brewing's fall seasonal. It's the best selling beer that we make at Port Brewing uh, in terms of our seasonal releases. As it is a fresh hop IPA, we can only brew the beer once a year using these uh, beautiful fresh hops that come from the Yakima Valley. So High Tide's a little bit different than our regular brewing process in that once a year in August, uh, late August, early September, we receive a bunch of fresh hops from Yakima. The process of making High Tide is that on brew day, uh, a truck shows up about 24 hours after the hops have been harvested uh, and left the Yakima Valley and we take those hops and begin brewing round the clock. Uh, the addition of uh, the centennial hops that we use on the brew side happens in the Whirlpool. The reason that it's such a special beer for us at Port Brewing is that the process actually has not one but two different fresh hop additions. And unlike most of the regular beers that we brew year round, fresh hop beers can only be made in the fall season right after picking. They cannot be brewed at a later date because the hops are unstable. So once we get the phone call from the growers and the farmers and the processors that our hops are ready to ship, we get the brewery prepped and ready, and then we go into brewing. The high tide production mimics a lot of the regular IPA style beers that we produce here at Port Brewing. We actually use uh, pelletized hops. Uh, I think that this batch of beer focuses on a little bit of Amarillo and a little bit of Simcoe. That's pretty standard in terms of the way that we normally produce beers. Uh, the deviation comes when we get to the hop back part. We actually load up our hop back with about 90 pounds of Centennial Fresh Hop Flowers. Again, those came in about 24 hours to 36 hours farm to the field to us. Uh, the beer then comes from the Whirlpool and the hop back, heads to the fermenter, goes through the standard fermentation process, takes about a week's time, at which point we are ready for the second round of hops and we actually contact the farmers again and we get another round of hops. These are the Chinook hops that just came in last night that I'm holding here in my hand. These Chinook hops are for the dry hopping phase and one of the things that makes High Tide such a spectacular fresh hop beer is that we have two fresh hop additions. Uh, and, and the process of dry hopping or even uh, using fresh hops in the, in the post-fermentation and conditioning phase is a little bit uh, uncommon. There's not a lot of breweries that take it that much further. A lot of the fresh hop beers that are produced are produced on the hot side of the brewing process only. And at Port Brewing, we've got a, a, a sort of a dual process going where we use the fresh hops in the, in the hop back itself and then in the dry hopping phase as well. It makes for an incredibly aromatic and really green sticky resin quality uh, in the beer itself. So something we're quite proud of. This year in 2011, we're brewing 16 batches of High Tide IPA. It's about the equivalent of 500 barrels of beer. And this beer will go from production the first week of September and be ready to go out the door at the end of September, uh, hitting shelves and, and, and tap houses about the first week of October.